Hey everybody, I'm Dustin with Frontier Basement Systems and Dr. Energy Saver and uh, we're actually up in an attic right now and uh, I'm in Connecticut. I left Brittany back in Tennessee and I'm here with uh, Rick Searles who is uh, also a home comfort specialist. And uh, so Rick, uh, you know, what are some reasons why homeowners may uh, feel uncomfortable in their homes? Well, that's a great question, Dustin. And the biggest reasons is the air leakage in their homes. Um, most people don't realize that the, the air that's in their homes that we pay and they pay to heat, cool, and condition leaks out of their house. And the biggest culprit where it leaks out is through their attics. And we think, geez, how can it leak out of our attics, right? We have all this drywall and it's sealed. Well, it's the bones behind it. Wire penetrations, pipe penetrations, duct penetrations, all these penetrations that are made when the house is framed gives areas where air is going to leak out. You know, you take a look here in this home, and here's a wire coming through, here's another wire coming through. Here's a hole that was drilled. A lot of times electricians drill holes and they don't even use that to run a wire through. And the holes are much bigger than the wire, so air can leak up through there. The top plates, the tops of the walls, big, big area where air leaks out. The other areas are our pull down stairs or our scuttle hatches to get in there. They're not air sealed at all. And that's like a big window to your attic that's uninsulated where we're losing heat in many, many ways okay. and conditioned air. Okay. So we've got lots of holes that are inside of the attic, which, you know, we're losing all that, uh, that, that heating and cooling that we're paying for up into that space. Uh, how, do we, how does a homeowner know if their house is under insulated? Another great question. Typically what you see is, is original insulation when the homes were built and the codes were much, much different back then. And just by a visual of going in your attic, if you see your, your insulation is flush or close to the top of your ceiling joist, the boards that run across your attic floor, if it's anywhere near the top of those, you're way under insulated. And uh, the other big sign is if the insulation is, is black and dirty like this, that's another sign of how much air is leaking through. And that would be where the penetrations and joints are. Okay, all right. So you can go up into your attic and you can take a look and see if you're seeing any dirty insulation, right? Uh, look and see if you've got 16 inches or less uh, of insulation would be an under-insulated home. Oh, without a doubt. Okay, all right. And, uh, you know, if you, if you don't mind moving some insulation out of the way and looking for these wiring penetrations and holes and stuff like that. Now, if you're seeing these things, uh, you can give us a call here, or if you just feel like your house is uncomfortable or, you know, costs too much to heat and cool, or, you know, uh, you know you've got rooms that are too hot in summer or too cold in the wintertime, give us a call. Our uh, toll-free number is 1-866-682-4420 or 1-TOO-MUCH-H2O. Thanks, we'll see you next week. Thanks, Dust.